back to another The Sims 4 but every room is a different trait. I've done something similar in the past with like personality traits, but I just grabbed a bunch of traits from The Sims 4 <laughs> and put them in a little spinny wheel. And uh, we're gonna see what happens. I put a lot of them in there, almost all of them, except for the ones where I was like, mm, how could that be a build? You know, most of them are in there though. So I hope it gets a little bit spicy. Before we get started, I'd like to thank Casetify for sponsoring today's video. You can go to casetify.com slash Vixilla to get 15% off your order. Casetify is my one-stop shop for phone cases. It's the only place I go. I've actually been using this phone case now for months. I love it. I get so many compliments on it and it's an ultra impact case, which means it's got extra levels of protection, which is great because I've been like extra clumsy lately and this thing is holding up just fine. Their cases are made with 65% recycled materials. They have Chi Tech technology, which protects your phone from drops to up to like 9.8 feet. And most importantly, they're cute. I've had this one for so long now. I do switch them out with the season, but this one is so pretty, I can't stop using it. <laughs> they have so many different colors and patterns and customizable options. You can customize your cases. They literally have an endless supply of designs. <laughs> you could be searching for hours. And to show you how much I trust Casetify, I'm going to yeet my phone across the room. Ah! Ta-da, she's perfect. So again, go to casefy.com slash Vixella to get 15% off your order. Go get yourself a discount. Go get yourself a brand new case. And thank you again to Casefy for sponsoring today's video. Okay, here are all the traits. I told you there was a lot, okay? I can't even read them all, but they're all Sims 4 traits. They're in there. But before we spin it, let's build a house. Don't even ask how many times I've built, <gasps> I almost demolished it. How many times I've built this exact house? It's probably like 10,000 times. This is my go-to floor plan, okay? It's kind of cute, right? It's very basic. We've got some farmhouse vibes. They deserve the fancy mailbox, honestly. I don't know who lives here, but I, they deserve it. Change of plans. They're getting the small mailbox now because the other one was too big. I'd like some more like variations of this window because I think it's so nice. Okay, I'm gonna use these windows. A little bit different for me, but I'm using them. But they're all getting window boxes because I have no self-control. Perfect. Now, as far as the inside goes, bathroom. Is that big enough for a bed? I forget how big beds are in this game sometimes. I mean, it can fit, it's just not very big. We could do that. I guess this could also be a bedroom. Yeah. Do both of these bedrooms get their own bathrooms? It's not that practical, but this is The Sims 4. Absolutely nothing is practical. We don't even have matching wood swatches. So are you really gonna complain? I might make that room bigger and this gonna be like the master bedroom or something, I don't know. Okay, I'm thinking living room, I'm thinking kitchen. We could squeeze a table in there. It's not gonna be a big one though. Okay, so we'll put like an arch. Are these walls medium wall height? Ah, oh, it's the worst. <laughs> but it like, it looks really good from the outside, right? Cause if you do like that's, it's so puny, but on the inside, it looks so much better. <sighs> Fine, I'll deal with a medium wall height, but just know that I hate it. Just know that I'm not happy with my decision. Okay, y'all are gonna hate me for this one, but I've made this tiny, tiny hallway. <laughs> Who's fitting through there? Who can fit through there? No, I don't really know what to do. <laughs> Let's move this door in here. Yeah, okay, I think that'll work. Okay, we've lit the place up. This is good. Okay, so I guess we'll start with the living room. What shall the living room be? Wow. <laughs> that was so close to Music Lover. Animal enthusiast. I'm thinking animal prints. Maybe like lots of food bowls. Okay, so we could kind of go any direction we want with like the wood or like the flooring, I mean. But I'm just gonna do this, okay? I'm just gonna bring it into there too. Don't be mad. I know there's some wallpapers with animals on them, but do I wanna go that far? <laughs> we could do the tiger one. I love the tiger one. Some people might think that this is a bit out there. But let me tell you something, there is nothing I love more than this tiger wallpaper, okay? It's my favorite. Anytime I can squeeze it in, <laughs> I do. No, I'm gonna go full pink. I'm gonna go full pink, cause I think it's fun. Okay, so it does need to be a living room. So let's get the basics. Let's get a couch, maybe a TV. Oh, this couch is so nice. There's no couches in particular, again, that scream animal to me, unless there's like a cow print one. Oh wait, that one literally has leopard print. Is there any other? Oh, the, the pillows are tigers. <gasps> the, oh, it's from the same pack. I don't know why I'm surprised. You win, you win, you win, you win. How am I gonna lay this out? Did it come with a matching love seat? I've lost all faith. <laughs> not only did it not come with a matching love seat, but no kits have ever had love seats. Come on. Did it come with chairs? Oh, it did. Oh, it did. Okay, good. Okay, that one's got an animal on it. It's got like a bird. Is it a crane? 
Is that what it's called? I'm not very good at recognizing birds. Okay, well, of course, none of the swatches match. Pretends to be shocked. So I'm just gonna go with pink because at least it matches the wallpaper. Okay, all this stuff from this pack, it's kind of rocking my world a little bit. <laughs> it's like the exact vibe that I needed. Like, it's perfect for this. Okay, this doesn't really have any animal print on it. However, it has flowers and animals like flowers. I do just be making things up as I go. An end table. Okay, that one's got like plants and stuff. That actually does kind of fit the theme, especially it's like jungle. That works. Okay, lighting. This is a panda. A panda is an animal. Oh, giraffe? We have to use the giraffe. This is the most funky <laughs> room I've ever made. It's kind of fun. Wait, oh my God, it came with a fireplace? Dude, I, I really haven't been using this pack as much as I should. Oh, it's so cute. I'm gonna go with the red. I know what you're thinking, why? Because it matches the couch. We got purple, we got red. Okay, I know it's weird. I know it's weird, but I like it. TV on the wall. We definitely need some plants. I don't know if there are any plants shaped like animals. Well, here's a freaking llama. Okay, but I definitely want some bigger plants that can like go on the ground. Oh, she's lovely. That's pretty. Maybe over here I can put a lamp. Do you think there's an animal lamp? There's a snowman, <gasps> a cat. It's so bright. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna make it black just so it you can see it otherwise it's so dark i think i want to put another plant next to it there's a little bit of empty space it's driving me crazy oh i forgot about these oh my god cute <laughs> they're so cute now some paintings above here we could put some animal stickers we do like a cat there now hear me out <laughs> i have an artistic vision and i need you to hear me out cat go on cat head other cat wait below I think I just made a work of art. Genuinely, wow. I'm so, I'm, I'm impressed. <gasps> Fishbowl. No. Okay, but I would actually like to put a piece of art above this art that I've made. Oh, oh, this is, oh, this is perfect. Now I kind of want to move my art. My art's kind of in the way of this good art. <laughs> There's a deassembled dino. Are dinosaurs animals? Oh, the dog can be pink. It's fine. Okay, so when you walk in the door... Oh, I need a rug. Actually, forget the door. I need a rug. Actually, go back to the door. We can put that there. We can put this... Why are these so small? Be honest. Was it to hurt me? Because that's what it feels like. We've got a lot of cats. Oh, what if we did both? What if we did cat and dog? Cat dog. What are we thinking? I kind of like it. <laughs> okay, but I, I do need a rug for like underneath this area. Um, Again, dinosaurs. Don't know if those are classified as animals. I would think so. Are they reptiles? What the hell is a dinosaur? <gasps> that is zebra print. It omega clashes, <laughs> but it works. <gasps> okay, that also kind of clashes, but it clashes less. Why is this working so well? I mean, I guess it depends on your style if this is well to you. We have, there's a lot of color in here. A cow plant. He's an animal. He's a cow and a plant. Yeah, I do want another piece of art over here. Any animal art? It's gotta be some. <gasps> That's literally got a cat on it. What else do they have? Oh, a fish and a tiger. Oh my God, she is adorable. No, I kind of like the cat. Oh, and it's right next to the cat lamp. Yeah, it's perfect. I am thinking that I kind of want a bookshelf right here. None of these are, you know, gonna scream animal to me, but I could do my best. It's a filler spot. Oh my God, I'm using medium wall height so I can actually use this bookshelf. For once in my life, I could use it. It feels good. It feels nice. I don't know what wood swatch matches in here. It's very glam in here. Speaking of glam, we should get some curtains. Let's keep the fabulousness going. These have little beads on them. A bunny is an animal. We've got a lot of cats in here, but that's okay. I mean, cats are animals. And so is a penguin. All right, that room is complete. Let's move on to the kitchen now, which I'm honestly a little bit scared of. Spin that wheel. It spins for so long. No. Wow. In the kitchen? No. What do I have to put like treadmills in there? This is not, this is not what I want. This is not what I planned. No, genuinely, what the frick? <laughs> Active. <sighs> we have some packs that are meant for working out, right? Don't we? Hold on. Yeah, we do, right? No, we do, right? Fitness. What the heck are these wallpapers? <laughs> You bring me great pain. Although that's not actually that bad. That could be worse. Kitchen, active, active. Maybe we could just put like a lot of healthy foods around. If you have an active lifestyle, I assume you also have a healthy eating lifestyle. This is just an assumption, but I'm making this up as I go. I'm going with an interesting color scheme here. Did I say a table was gonna go in there? Oh, uh, okay, I'll make an island. It's gonna be a tight squeeze. Oh, a sink in front of the window. That's my favorite. And then maybe we could do a stove here. Oh my God, it actually works. That worked out perfectly. 
Exactly. Okay, I put some cabinets in there. I had to put two here because these ceilings are tall and I wanted the window to be not totally covered. So then my other plan, right, was to have like a little seating area. You could do this and then have two chairs. It does work. In fact, I think that that is indeed what I will do now. I don't know how to make this look active. These look like they would belong in a gym, maybe. <laughs> I genuinely don't know. <laughs> this is from the bowling one. That's active. Bowling is a sport. Are there any like motivational active posters? Because that would be perfect. <laughs> Come on, I know they're in there. Wait, there's a football dude. Oh, I'm gonna make this freaking work. If I have to use posters in here, I will. Oh my gosh, is that the only sports one? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, yeah, there's got to be more than that. Please help. There, oh, there's a bowling, like a giant bowling one. We could put that over here. Whoa, it's a pretty cool swatches actually. Okay, um, there's not a lot else we can do in here. I'll add some bar stools, but listen, our choices are slim. We could keep it kind of industrial. Oh, let's add the fruit. I almost completely forgot about my own plan. Okay, those are salt and pepper shakers. I feel like that's something you'd have on display. Your peppers. Oh, definitely these, your fruits. That's a given, that's a given. Where is the fruit bowl? You would definitely drink tea. 1,000% uh -huh. you're a tea drinker. <gasps> We need those. Where is the darn fruit? Oh, I found a modern fruit bowl. I just don't like the positioning on the countertops. Why would they do that? Okay, that's fine. I'm, yeah, that's good enough. <laughs> oh, here, we can put the tea flavor. Why, it's doing it again. <laughs> tea flavors next to the kettle. Oh, let's get some cute pastels. Oh, that's looking really cute. Oh my God, I love it. I kept thinking if I landed on this that I would like use a bunch of like workout equipment. I just don't know if that's going to work anymore. <laughs> I can try to squeeze something in. Oh, maybe, yeah, we could, we could put a soccer ball over here. That worked. We could hide a water balloon bucket under the table. A soccer team playbook. Would the salt and pepper shaker go on the table? I'm starting to think that maybe that's the proper way to do it, but what do I know? Maybe I'll put this here. You could cook with them. I don't know. Oh my goodness, this is it. <gasps> and we have a big giant wall in here. That's all the bowling trophies. That's perfect. I never doubted myself for a second. Oh yeah, we have like ski gear and stuff. Oh, that's perfect too. Okay, perfect. Nice. I might just, dang, these are huge. Why are these so big? sizes. Put these down. Might put a couple of uh, sporty flags. They're going for both teams. They can't quite make up their mind. <laughs> okay. Wow. Look at the difference between this room and this room. <laughs> okay. Let's do this big giant bedroom. Spin that wheel. <gasps> wow. Now this I can do. I wish that there was like a paint splatter wallpaper. I know that sounds hideous, but I think it would be really good in this one particular situation. <laughs> if you liked art, what would your wallpaper be? Probably something with art on it. <gasps> so pretty. No, I do feel like it would be more like this. Like this one's so pretty. <gasps> Guys, I'm gonna do it. Look how beautiful, I'm gonna do it, I'm doing it. I don't think this can fit a double bed in it. So I think I'm gonna have to do a single bed. Let's try to do something kind of Fun, kinda artsy. Well, these are literally fabricated beds. Although I really like this one. Okay, maybe I should use this one instead. And let's start with the basics. We need an easel. And I'm gonna get the one that looks a little bit used. Got a lot of paint on it. This is also a perfect, perfect item for this. I love, oh my, oh my gosh. They're so pretty. <gasps> paint buckets, perfect. Oh, okay, that one's a little bit too big. We also have this one. I'm gonna be honest, this one is more my style. There are so many amazing swatches. Like, look at that, so pretty. Obviously, I'm gonna put some art on the walls, but I wanted to put those down first because it makes sense. I also might move some more paint around. <laughs> I do think that their walls would be kind of scattered with like a bunch of different kinds of art. I kind of don't think that they would just have like one style. I think they'd have like a bunch of stuff all over the walls. Oh, this is good too. This, these paintings look like work in progress sort of sketches. Cool, oh, I like that one, I like the sitting one. That's a really cool one for this room. I just need a painting that fits in this little spot. Oh, this would be cute too. I know it's like kind of like what children made, but I like the idea of it being like some either like 
paintings from their childhood or just like some scribbles that they did. I think that's kind of a cute idea. Oh, this is good. Got a bunch of art on the wall. I think we should definitely have some curtains in here. Actually, I'm thinking this room is looking pretty good. Maybe let's get like a plant. I do feel like this person would have hanging plants. I'm gonna be honest. I'm getting the vibes. <laughs> so let's add a few of those in there and then I'll add one big plant. Perfect. All right. Oh, let me add curtains on this window. There we go. Done. Moving right along. Let's do, let's do a bathroom. Please be something easy. Wow. High maintenance in a bathroom. I think I can actually do this. I think we need like a lot of makeup, hair tools, mirrors. Oh my gosh, should we just put like a thousand mirrors? Okay, let's do the basic bathroom things. We need a sink, a toilet, and like a shower. I would say that this sink looks pretty high maintenance to me. The matching toilet. <laughs> a classic. This shower, of course. And I think we need the mirror. You know, the one. <gasps> oh my God. Do you think I could fit a whole vanity in here? That would be perfect. Look, if I put the toilet up against the window, I know it doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but this could be really funny. The see-through chair, obviously, completely necessary. Should we get some crazy curtains for in here? Look at these curtains. I didn't even know they existed. They're hilarious. Okay, if I can find all of like the makeup products and stuff. I know this isn't technically what high maintenance means, but the first thing I thought of was like, takes me forever to get ready in the morning. Like that's, that was the first thing that came to my head when I was like, if I was high maintenance, how would I be? I would take forever in the mornings. Okay, we've got makeup, we've got hair tools, very important. Nail care, oh my God, there's nail care. I have to squeeze this in somewhere. Okay, it can be a bit messy because that's kind of what I'm going for. Oh, perfumes, we have to fit that on there. Yeah, okay, perfumes in the back, got it. Okay, I think that's, <laughs> I think that's messy enough. Oh wait, there's nail polishes. I'll just squeeze that in there with the nail care stuff. <laughs> Let's put some more hanging plants because you know what else is high maintenance? A freaking plant, not all of them, but some of them. My plants, they're so needy. Okay, I'm gonna put a full length mirror on the wall, even though this is where you get out of the shower, but I don't know. Let's also get a robe, because I think robe is a is a good idea. And then a towel. All right, I think I'm done with that room. Let's move on to this room. The room in the front. Ooh. Wow. So we're gonna need some radios, some dance floors. I think this one is gonna be kind of fun. Immediate, whoa, that's so big. Yeah, immediately I wanna get like one of these floors. It fits perfectly in the room, oh my God. It's like it was literally made for this room. Okay, this whole thing's a dance floor. What if I got the see-through one? Do you just see dirt underneath you? Oh my God, a DJ booth. Where are they going to sleep? I'm gonna squeeze in a, a small bed because I still want this to be a bedroom and that's what I think is so freaking funny is because like how absurd would this be as a bedroom? It's hilarious. Technically you need this room in the back to get in, but I... I'm gonna cheat a bit. Just so it makes more sense. I just typed in music. Oh my God, there's so many things. Okay, but they're dancers, right? They're, they're dance machines. So we need like radios on radios on radios. Actually, the jukebox would be really cute. This one would be amazing, but it's a bit big. Can we get like some disco lights? There's no disco ball, but what I was thinking we could do is have some of these like spotlights. Oh, I can't put one over there. Shit. I think there's one I could put on the wall. Oh, there's a neon light. That's, that's it. That's perfect. Oh, I didn't put wallpaper in here. <laughs> Whoopsies. Okay, well, what the heck kind of wallpaper could I put in here anyways? I mean, should I put something plain? Should I just make it really dark? That could work. Cause then you could really see the neon light and the wall's kind of shiny. I think this is good. I don't really know how many things you can put on the wall to signify that you like to dance but here's another neon sign. If you like to do anything, it's freaking party. <laughs> I'm gonna put these uh, these curtains in here too. Somehow I feel like they work, I don't know. What I was planning on doing was like changing these lights to be like different colors, like a TikToker room. I think that's the move. Also we can put these like funky mirrors back here. I'm kind of loving it. I do feel like this piece of art belongs in this room. Okay, beautiful. I think I'm done. Let's move on to this bathroom. We'll save the bedroom for last. Bathrooms are scary. Please give me something I can work with. Wow. You trying to be creative in the bathroom? I don't know about that. All right, let's be creative then. <laughs> I don't know. Is that creative? First thing I thought of was just like color. Creative, creative, creative. Okay, creative toilet. We've got bougie. Oh, this one. It's got the drips down the side. You ever seen this toilet before? What the heck is that? <gasps> oh, that's the one. There's the creative toilet we were looking for. 
There it is. Creative shower. This one's got some funky tiling. Creative sink. I mean, the peacock one is still standing out to me. <laughs> but perhaps this round one could be the winner. God, the fact that like nothing in here matches is driving me crazy. Is there a creative mirror? Oh wait, that's this one kind of is. I'm trying to match the blues and the oranges. Like the copper kind of matches the orange. It's kind of working. On this side though, we have a little bit of room for activity. How do we plan on getting creative in here? We should make candles. Where else do you need a good candle if not in the bathroom? Honestly, we spend a good chunk of our lives in the bathroom. Why not be productive and make some candles? Okay, we got a lot of eyeballs happening in here. I'm not really sure what that's about, but I'm making a little collage over here. Creative equal abducted by aliens. You're gonna have to forgive me for this one. I don't know if this one was my best. <laughs> candle making in the bathroom. Come on, that's genius though. I gotta give myself props for that one. That's genius. And hanging plants. Okay, moving right along to the very last room. Give me something good. Let's go out with a bang. Wow. Okay, goofball. So we're just gonna get a little bit crazy and a little bit wacky. Silly, goofy moods activate. <laughs> That's kind of silly, goofy, and wacky. <sighs> have I mentioned that I hate it? <laughs> no, I have to do it. I have to, I have to stick with it. Oh, that is exactly what I pictured, actually. The purpose watch is kind of going with this. I'm just gonna, no, I'm gonna leave it. I'm just gonna leave it. I need a silly and goofy, wacky bed. Which one of you guys is feeling a little silly and a little goofy? Black is not, I, that's not giving me silly goofy. This is giving me silly goofy. That's the right flavor. I'm honestly considering changing this to a different swatch just because the black is not like, I don't know, it's not giving me silly goofy mood. Do I have a silly goofy lamp? This one's pretty silly and goofy. How about we do panda over there and like lighthouse over here? I know we got some silly goofy rugs in there. I know we do. Like, look at this. I might change the bed. I'm changing the bed. It's not, it's not silly enough. Uh, I think I found it. <laughs> oh, I think I found what I was looking for. Perfect. <gasps> they had that rug in here? You had cheetah print? I'm changing it to cheetah print. I don't know why we've got like so many different colors happening in here. I don't know how to contain it all. We need some goofy items. This is The Sims. We should have tons of goofy items. If I just scroll down on any category, I should, I should find some pretty goofy items there. I rest my case. Okay, if I just size these puppies down, that is super goofy. What even is that? <gasps> Okay, we're getting a little too, getting a little too wacky. Tone it down, tone it down, tone it down. She could have gone really well on the living room too. She's cute. A goofball, a goofball. What would a goofball have? Yeah, it's pretty freaking weird. Oh, a rainbow sword, of course. It's so funny. Every time I'm playing The Sims and I don't want to find weird stuff, it's all I can find. But now that I'm looking for it, it's like, I can't find it. I did find a crab though. And I mean, that's, that's pretty weird. Okay, I know we used this one before, but it kind of fits the theme in a very weird, weird way. There's gotta be some sort of activities that are like a little bit on the goofball side. How about playing a freezer bunny guitar? Goofy, they're so quirky. A voodoo doll, now that is quirky. This one actually is significantly harder than I thought and I'm not really totally sure why? Should I look at kids stuff? Oh wait, I have a good idea. What if we just lined these up? It's like an army. You know what would be even crazier? If we had them face each other like they were having a council meeting. It doesn't get any goofier than that. And the unicorn over here is very special. They don't have to partake in the meetings. Oh my God, wait, I know, I know what we can do. Naked gnome, naked gnome. Gnome Grim Reaper, gnome on a flamingo. I'm liking where we're going with this. I'm liking it. Some clouds. Okay, I'm gonna call it quit. This is good enough. <laughs> what the heck is this room? It's hurting my brain. There you have it, everyone. There's my house. Every room is a different trait. This is extremely challenging. This one was a lot harder than the other ones. <laughs> this room's my favorite though. Like, it's a lot, but like, she's kind of, she's everything. She's everything. I love her. <laughs> But thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you again to Casetify for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget, you can go to casetify.com slash Vixella to get 15% off your order. Hope you're all having a wonderful day and I'll speak to you all very, very soon. Bye-bye.